prosper. Everything, all your working, all your family, praise the Lord. Now, look at this scripture. Can you see your, your, the business that you are doing in this scripture? And God bless them. Can you see your family, the family that you are raising? Can you see it in this scripture? And God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, replenish from generation. Your generation will come, you will give back to another generation. The generation you give back to, we give back to another generation. Amen. The generation of the generation that you give back to, that that one give back to, we give back to another generation. That is how we replenish. Answering this one. Hallelujah. That is why we respond. All that we are doing on earth, we are responding to Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. So the things go in a circle. It goes in a circle from God. What does God do? God release his words. He gives his words to man. So what does man do? Man takes the word from God. And after taking the word from God, God, God man goes and acts on the word. And when man acts on the word, Right, he received from God. God will in turn release his blessings on the man. And the circle continues. The circle will continue until we see God. Man we take from God. Man we act on the word. And God will bless man. Man we receive the word from God. Man we take action or act on the word. Please, studio, let me know if you are ready. Because I have a little diagram I want to show us. Amen. Please, you can put it there, the first one. Amen. This, my diagram, is called, oh, it's supposed to put, give an heading. Circle. This is a circle. You can see it as it sits in a circle. This is a circle of safety. I come as a teacher this morning. Amen. The Lord saw me. Before, he said, come and carry the microphone. Hallelujah. Amen. I drew this one. I went on the internet to go look for video that will match up what I want to bring out today. Praise the Lord. This is the circle of safety. And this one, I want to explain it this way. If you come, if you want to take the first one, that is that God. If you want to take it, it is God releasing himself. Any part of him that he wants, he releases to man. Because the word that you are seeing here, the word himself is God. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word is God. If the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word was God. So man, we take the word from God. Man will now go and act on the wall. Man will take action. When the action returns to God, you see those things that are dropping. Amen. Those things that are dropping. That is the first, the first phase, the first thing that you saw in that Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. And God blessed them. It will release the blessing. Some people release the blessing. Your action on the word is what releases the blessing. Now, this thing God goes around is what keeps man in the circle of safety. This is what keeps you in the circle of safety. And this is where we want to keep ourselves. I see the Lord keeping us strong, speaking us strong in the place of safety in the mighty name of Jesus. So I, I say, what is safety? The word, the promises of God is it that brings man into safety. So what is safety? A safe place is a place that is free of us. H-U-R-T A safe place is any environment that is free of hurt. Hallelujah. And I want to declare where is safety? Hey. What is safety? A place that is full of hurt. Now, where is safety? Safety is in the circle of safety. 
Where is safety? Safety is in the word. Praise the Lord. Safety is in the word. I said, where is safety? We have answered that. What is safety? Where is safety? Now, safety for what? Safety for what? Amen. When you come to church like this, it will be good for you to write. It will be good for you to jot down some things. Hallelujah. Safety for what? I have three things here. Three points of safety. Safety from the subtlety of the devil. The subtlety of the devil. Number two. Safety from the wickedness of the wicked. Number three. Safety from the thief, the killer, and the destroyer. Hallelujah. Safety from what? These are the area that we need to guard ourselves, to put ourselves in the area, in the place of safety. My first example this morning on this circle of safety is the example of Noah. In Genesis chapter 6, from verse 13. Genesis chapter 6. Genesis 6, 6 from verse 13. Verse 13. And God said unto Noah, we know the story. The end of all flesh is come. Is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them. I will destroy them with the earth. Please, I'll take that again. And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the head. Please continue to 22. Now, this is the instruction. The Lord wants to do something. And he presented his word unto Noah. And I said, this is what you should do. This is the instruction. The word is coming now. He said, make thee an ark of gopher tree, gopher wood. Rooms shall thou make in the ark. And shall pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion. Which shall shall make of it? The length, the breadth, the this thing, it continue. Continue, please. And a window, a window, one window shall that make to the heart. And in a cubit shall that furnish it above. Continue, please. And behold, I, even I, do bring flood of water. I am bleeding flood of water upon the earth to destroy all flesh. Wherein is the breath of life from under the heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. Take note of verse 17. I am bringing floods of water. Floods of water. Verse 18 says, But we be, we now establish my covenant and thou shalt come into the ark. Hey, I present the ark of safety before you this day. When they are saying the price of when is so high, things are so high, things are so stop. I declare that you and your also shall be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? When the earth shall be hot with famine, I bring the ark of safety before you. I bring you to the place of safety. Ah, may your understanding be enlightened this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. So this place of safety in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. He said, but with thee, I will make, I will establish my covenant. And thou shalt come into the earth, thou and thy sons and thy wife and the sons and thy sons. Wives, with thee, continue please. And of every living thing, continue please. The fire and continue. And take thou unto thee all of all food 
that is eaten. God knows that in that place he's taking them to, they will need food. He did not say, take yourself, take the animals. You see how God, how caring God is? He said, you will take food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee, and for them, 22. Toss, hey, action now. Action. Toss, what? Toss, ditch, no. Toss, ditch, action. In the diagram where we saw, we saw God, we saw the world, we saw man, we saw action, we returned to God, we praise the Lord. So this man did, just did Noah, just did Noah. Now let's go to verse 17. Verse 17 says, I am bringing a flood. Behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of water upon the earth. I am bringing a flood of water upon the earth. Before that time, the earth never saw water. The earth did not know anything that is called flood. Please grew on the earth. What most then? It was the dew. In the night, they will see dew. Everywhere, blows on with dew. The dew will make the things on the earth to form up. There was nothing like rain. And the Lord told somebody, I am bringing rain. There will be rain upon the earth. Take action now. Take action now. When God releases his words unto you, for you to ask, this is for your safety. It is for your safety. So, we know the story. The water came for 40 days. The rain came for 40 days. But the rain was upon, the water was upon the earth for 120 days, if you read further on your own. The water remained on the earth for 120 days. The water stayed longer than the rain of destruction. The water stayed and made sure everything was destroyed. But look at this one. The destruction even troubled the heart. But the people that were inside the ark, they had rest. The Bible says, the water carried the ark. It carried the ark. The ark itself was troubled. The ark itself carried above the mountain, above the hill, carried them all to we know this scripture when the, the, the Bible says it rested upon the mount of Ararat. It rested, the ark rested upon the mountain of Ararat. Before that time, there was no rest for the heart. But no, no, the not this. That same water that destroyed the people, it was the same water that made the ark to float. It was the same water that carried the ark up. It was the same water that suspended the ark. I am going somewhere. People of God, the instruction that God gives you, it is the instruction that will sustain you. When people, they are in hot. When body, they are in hot. Please, we want to, we will break down scriptures this morning. I come as a teacher. Concerning what the Lord has shown me that I've seen in the word. It is the same word. It is what God gives you that will uphold you, that will maintain you, that will nourish you, that will sustain you. In this time, when people are crying, they are crying for their body. Ah, my body sickness. What is happening? They are crying for money. There is place for safety. All this. God has provided for our safety before what we are seeing came now. He has provided for our safety. He has packaged us. He has packaged us where? There was a time that Jeremiah was saying, Oh God, what is happening to me? But God told Jeremiah, Jeremiah, you are not an accident before me. Before you came forth in your mother's womb, I have prepared your destiny. I have prepared your story. I have prepared the money that you will spend. I have prepared you. I have said to you, praise the Lord. Church, you know what? The children that your children, children will give back to. Hallelujah. Maybe we have grandchildren now. Here in our midst. 
But I'm not sure we have great grandchildren, great grandparents now. We have grandparents. Sorry, sorry. I mean to say, we, have, we may have grandparents here. But I look around, I've not seen great grandparents. But do you know that your great grandchildren, those of us that are not married yet, your children, those of us that are married that have children, their children, their own children, the children that we give birth to, do you know that their salvation has been paid for? Praise the Lord. They have not manifested on the hearts. They have not appeared on the hearts. That same Jesus that saved you, that same salvation that was made available to you, all is also ready for them, ready for their acceptance, ready for their take. Praise the Lord. Ready for their understanding. The same way, A, the provision for your life, the provision for my life, for my heart, the provision for everything that has to do with my life, with my God in it, they have been provided for. They have been made available. The only thing that will make us to assess them is our response to the world. Responding to the world. Taking the world. Amen. Accepting the world. Just the way Noah accepted the world. And this morning, I'll be showing you very quickly. Please take us back to that uh, to that diagram of safety. What do we do between action and God? You know, I said this, yeah? That as men receive the word, men do what? Men act on the wall, just the way they, we saw Noah. Noah acted on the wall. Men act on the wall. Now I want to show us something. Between that action and what? What will keep us well? What are the things? Very two minutes, two points. Between what will keep you safe? Between action and God. That will make something to return from God unto you. Number one is your consciousness of the word. Number one, your consciousness, conscious. I am con not conscious, so I do not say conscious. I say conscious. Your consciousness, your alertness. You are aware and you are alert. I am alert that I am aware. That I'm working in the world. You must be conscious of the world all the time. I am a lot of the world. I am conscious that I am working in the world. The world is with me. The world is for me. I am conscious of the world. I want to show you one of the beautiful scripture that I use all the time to keep me a lot. Isaiah 41. As for me, I say from verse 9, but for this, because of time, you can say from verse 10. Isaiah 41. Everybody, either you're a student, you're a worker, take the scripture. The Bible says here, okay, please give me verse 9 for better understanding. This is something that you will chew. It said, thou, that is God talking to me now. Uh, you can equal today. Whom I have taken from the ends of the head and called thee me from the chief men thereof and said unto Kenny equal today. You can put your name and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. Uh uh, you did not see the way God is talking to me. He said, Thou, you Kenny, you are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast thee away. I will not cast thee away. It will not work forward the same. It says, You fear thou not. Men may be afraid. Fear thou not. The things that may be at me, they may do contrary to your expectation. But for you, I am telling you, fear thou not, for I am with you. Why should I not fear? Where should I keep calm? He said, For he is with me. So I go in this 
takes consciousness. Even when it looks as if the rain is beating, the rain may came, the rain may beat on your finances. The same way the rain will beat on you, on your body, on your health. The same way the rain will beat on you, that is the same way it will beat on the unbeliever. The same way you will go to buy things in the market, that is the same way unbelievers go to buy things in the market. He said, but for you, fear thou not. When you want to look at see, the earth wants to do, how will I survive? Oh. What will keep me? How will I maintain the family? How will I keep the going? He said, for you, fear thou not, for I am with you. So I began to define on myself. I am with me. Ah. What is that power that is saying it with me? I began to analyze it. If God said he is with me, I want to see what is it that has power to challenge the power of God. What is it that has the might to confront God? When devil Lucifer tried it, Lucifer lost his throne. He sent Lucifer away from this honorable place. Now he said, I am with you. I am with you. He now went ahead. Be not dismayed. You know the meaning of dismay? Don't be worried. Don't be worried. On your inside, within you, don't be worried. Why? Why did he say? He said, For I am your God. This is what I will do to you now. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. Wherever you are going, I will strengthen you. Within you, I will strengthen you. Please, let this scripture be sinking in your heart. Let this scripture be sinking. This is where your safety is. Be conscious. Who is challenging you and who is with you? When we're, so, when we're much younger, when uh, maybe you look for trouble somewhere, 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 you look for somebody that is bigger than that person that wants to be, you run to that person. You will run for safety. God is saying, See, I am with you as that keeper. I am with you as a mighty God. What is it that is challenging? Is it in your body? It can come in the body. I will tell my body all the time Body, I have an anti sickness body. Praise the Lord. Why do you take anti malaria? When you take anti malaria, anti means against. When you say antichrist, people that does not believe in Christ, amen, they're against Christ. Anti-malaria, something that is against malaria, praise the Lord. And now, I said my body is anti-sickness body. Because before I know my body, Christ already died for me. He was loved by his stripes. Say, by that stripes is the wisdom of God. By the stripes, I am healed. So I have been healed. My body is not a sick body looking for health, looking for healing. No, I carry a strong, a healthy body. The sickness is trying to assess, to penetrate, and sickness cannot penetrate my body. Praise the Lord. That is my definition of it. That keep me calm. And I speak to my body all the time. The first doctor, the first physician, the first prophet, the first pastor to your body, to yourself, it should be you. It's you. When I look, I say, my head, no, head, you cannot ache. Oh. Mm -hmm. You cannot ache. Shoulder, 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 no pain. To the right, to the left. Ah, no pain. Waist, no pain. No, no, you are not allowed. Pain, no, you are darkness. This body is light. Light dwells in me. He said, I am with you. The one that is with me, you cannot penetrating to me. No, she cannot stand. I speak to my body with understanding. I am conscious of it that is with an attack. When it goes, I see somebody wants to forget. And I say, the way he's doing me, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No, no. The Holy Spirit will bring me back. Because he said, I will strengthen you. I will help you. Yea, I will uphold. You know the meaning of uphold? Uphold means to maintain. Upon me to sustain, I will maintain you. One of the ways that the Lord maintains us is we bring the consciousness of the world to me. I have seen the world all the time. The diverse son, he will teach me, remind me. When he brings your word to me, I'm saying, Oh God, I thank you. 
I thank you. Myself and one of our women, we were talking one day here. She said, ah, she was in her place of work. And something wants to disturb her. She wants to get worried. And the Holy Spirit brought the word into her. Hey, let not your heart be troubled. I said, yeah, that is the kind of testimony I want to be hearing. Yes, that is the kind of testimony I want to be hearing from all of us. Because that is the same way the Lord deals with me. That is the same way it deals with me. There was a money, a day. I will share it all this. I needed money. I needed money that day. And I was just like, oh, I needed money. This money, this money, money, money. This money hour, I needed money. And I was on my own. What did I hear? And the Lord spoke to me. Be not afraid, I will provide for you. Be not afraid, I will provide for you. Child, before 10 o'clock that morning, I will help you. You didn't see it there? I will strengthen you. Look at it there. I will strengthen the J. I will help you. You just be conscious. Be conscious all the time. Be conscious of the world. Be conscious of the world. When you are conscious of the world, you keep yourself in the place of safety. You keep yourself in the place of safety. So number two, there are two things I want to, you have to see this morning. This number two is very important to me. Number two, your imagination. Hallelujah. Your imagination. The Bible speaking in Hebrew 11 said, Now, faith is the substance of faith. Therefore, the evidence of things not seen. What do I do? What are the things that will keep me? In the action, so that I will relate with God. Where your imagination? What is your ima- what is imagination? Imagination is a mental picture, a mental picture of the world. Oh, let me say a mental picture of a thing. Let me not relate it with the word now. Imagination is a mental picture of a thing. Everybody has the power of imagination. Either you are born again or you don't born again. You are not born again. Everyone, we all have the power of imagination. Our imagination works very well. Everyone, God built it in us just like the way love is built in us for us to exhibit the hand of God. Imagination is built inside of men. The Bible says here, yeah, In Genesis chapter 11, from verse 1, Genesis 11, verse, verse 1, it says, And the old world, you will make it fast for me, please. And the old world was with one language and with one speech, and it, and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, and they found a plain in the land of Shinnath, and they drove there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime they had for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build a city and make a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city. And the tower which the children of men built, and the Lord said, "Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they began to do. And now nothing shall be restrained from them which they have imagined to do from their imagination, from their mental picture, from the picture that they created from their mind." From their mind, the picture that they created from their mind. All of us, we need to go and begin to create the picture of the world. The picture of the world. These people, they did not create the picture of the world. They just, their, their mind, because it is inbuilt. It is on our inside. Their mind just began to create more wonderful imagination. And from their imagination, they began to shoot for their imagination put their action. They put action into their imagination. They put their energy into their imagination. They put their resources into their imagination. And as they began to work, God began to look at it. Ah! Look at 
this man. Look at these people. Where are they going? Ah, if I don't do something now, these people will come to me. God had to step in and saw the action of their imagination. Their imagination was so powerful that their imagination began to show they were actually going to heaven and that is not the way God wants man to be connected to him. God wants man to be connected back to him through the world. They began to build their imagination. What's strong? Their imagination. What's forward? All of us, we use our imagination. All every one of us, even our children. We use our imagination to remember things. Praise the Lord. We use our imagination to create things. Now I am begging you. Let's begin to use our imagination. Please give me the picture back again. Use our imagination. Redirect our imagination to the world. Praise the Lord. Let's begin to use our imagination on the world. Let's choose because your imagination, your mind, paints the picture of what is not seen in the physical. It brings the picture of what cannot be seen, and that is faith. The Bible says, faith is the substance of things, of what? The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. So a man of faith is working on the things that he has not seen. He said that thing that I have not seen in the physical is possible in the spirit. So if you are saying it is possible in the spirit, bring the picture, create the picture in your mind. Create the picture in your mind. I will sit down on my own because I hate a sick body. I hate a sick body. Sickness has dead so much with me. Long, long, long time. If I tell you my story, you will pity my enemy. From childhood, they say because of sickness, I'm a banji. I do not know the meaning of banji. But because I will sick today, uh, sick tomorrow, sick tomorrow, sick tomorrow, they say they are more banji. Ah, it goes to a time I could not walk. Amen. Praise the Lord. I married. I was on wheelchair for three months. Hallelujah. Wicked. So I ate it. I ate it. So I create the picture of by his stripes I am healed. All the time when he looks at see my body say, no, you, you. I will be looking at the picture. I will be looking at the picture of a healed person. A person that sickness cannot attach itself to. A person that sickness, I created the picture. Please, it may not be, it may not be one day. It could be a journey. Yes, of course, it's a journey. It is a journey. It's a journey that you will do again and again and again until you register. Even when you register, you will maintain yourself. You know, the Bible says here, yeah, when we read, I will uphold you. I will uphold you. Other uphold means sustain. I will maintain. The Bible says, upholding all things by the word of his power. So I create a picture, and I'm still creating a picture. I will be looking at the picture when the looks I see my body is no no more. My body wants to do as if the way the world is not painting. I will put the picture of the world before me. That says by his stripes you are healed. I put the picture of the world before me. Please empower your imagination to work according to the word of God. Everybody. Everybody in the church. It's an assignment. It is a journey. Oh, praise the Lord. This is not I prophesy, I receive. Even when all this word they are prophecy. All this word they are prophecy. This is one thing that will not energize you, that will make the prophecy to work for you. This is your imagination. When the Lord told Moses, see, I have given you the land of Canaan. I have given you all their land. I have given you all their substance. I have given you all the peace, everything that has to do there. So, the Lord told Moses, Moses, send spies. Send out spies. Send them out to the land. Send them out. Send people. So, Moses, what did he do? He picked one person from each tribe. Twelve tribes of Israel. He picked one person from each tribe. All of them, he sent them out. 
just the way God sends us to our world. He sent them out. So the people went there. And the people now came. The 12 of, 12 of them. Actually, they came with bountiful fruit. They were able to carry the fruit of the land. They said, if there are some fruit of that land, that one person will not be able to carry alone. They carried the fruit of the land. Just like uh, in the north. Like maybe in Goko or this, uh, Benue. This is, you have this mango that are big, big like this. The first time I saw a mango that is so big, when they brought some of the sisters in the school when I was in Zaria, one of the sisters brought it to me. So I said, oh, they called me pastor. Pastor, I brought this to you. She brought yam. The yam she brought from here to this place. Brought one yam. We were eating yam, 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 yam. She brought one mango. That was my first time of seeing that kind of mango. I said, no, me, I can't eat this one. I have never seen this kind of mango before. I get people say, oh, pastor, you don't want it? People, they brought knife. Everybody started cutting mango. Started cutting mango. Maybe that was, they, they said they brought one fruit that one person could not carry. And that was how robust the land that God gave them is. But some of them came out, ah, what we saw, no, no, no. What we saw is too big. What we saw is too heavy. The people will eat us. The people will destroy us. Please, you know what? Hey, the first place where people die is from their imagination. If you die from your inside, if you are poor from your inside, if you are poor from your imagination, no matter the zero, the are to the end of your pay, no matter the zero, the are because your your mentality has already registered poverty. No, all the people, the things that the person will be seeing is poverty. If you register the same way, yeah. Mosquito bites your neighbor. Mosquito has beaten you. So what do you see after what is malaria? You have already registered it. That is what will happen to you. So the people they are like, no, 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 no. We are like dead men. We can't go. That one is no go, no go area. But the Bible says, two persons, two persons, two persons that were able to see like God. Where do we go to church? Have you asked yourself? Why do you come to church? You come to church so that you will see like God, the God that you are here, you are. Praise the Lord. Why do you go for training? You go for training so that you will be empowered mentally. That's why we come to church, oh. So that the God on our inside will be made visible to, our, to the outside. So that we will take our God in a godly way. Our word, I mean to say, in a godly way. We will take our word. All things that God has given unto us. He said, I give unto you all things that pertain to life and according as his divine nature. As he given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. So that all things that pertain to life and godliness that God has given unto us, we will be able to take it. It's what we are taking. But if you think on your inside, they say I'm too heavy. They say I can't get there. They say I cannot reach there. You cannot get there. You cannot be planting, planning your barrier and expect to live in divine earth. No! You cannot be thinking of death within you and expect to live in victory, to live in triumph. No! You cannot be defeated and expected to see victory. No! It starts with your imagination. Imagination is the picture in your mind. Paul said to Philemon, he said, for without your mind, will I do nothing? Without your mind, will I do nothing? The picture painted, the image, the picture painted on your inside is as important as the victory you see on the outside. Don't paint the picture of I don't have, I don't have. Especially at a time like this. You know the picture you should have? The Bible says, and God is able to make all grace about towards me. Even if at least if he looks as if, yes, I am expecting money. Of course, what we expect. I am expecting money. I am expecting provision. You go and see the clay. And God, can you give me the scripture? And God is able to make all grace abound towards me so that I will always have all sufficiency. Today, I am always having all sufficiency in all things. And God is able to make all grace, grace abound towards me. We, we use more 
scripture now. Before now, we use Isaiah 41 from verse uh, 9, 10, continue like that till verse 11. Thank you. No, is that God is able. I'm all just, just using this one to support that God is able. When it looks as if you need money, of course, you should not make small, small plan that this. Let your plan be higher than your resources for that part time. That is why we serve God. That is why we have God. You tell yourself, it may look as if I am expecting the money now, but I know my God is able to make all grace. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to make all grace. Grace abound towards me that I am always having all sufficiency in all things. I will abound to every good work. And God is able, Second Corinthians 9, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you, you, you always having, always having money, always having favor, always having customers, always having clients, always having information that you need, always having the people that you need, always having the contacts that you need, always having all sufficiency in all things, all sufficiency. My house is sufficient, all sufficiency in my house. Do good with that consciousness. Even if you feel as if I need money. I used this scripture. This was the scripture, one of the scriptures I stood for for my birthday. Praise the Lord. For my birthday. This, after I stood on this scripture and some other scripture, and I put sacrifice, journal. For my birthday. You see the provision come. Create a picture of your supply from this. The picture you are creating is from the world. The mental picture. The mind picture you are creating is from the world. See, we may not be there now. We are joining there. But I see this place filled with people. Amen. See, all this portion, the chairs are arranged this way. The people are facing this way. All this place is filled. And they are filled with people. All the portion, multiple services in this place. This place is broken. They are filled with people. I can see them in the spirit. Before you know, they are manifesting to the physical. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Praise the Lord. Please. When you pick your Bible and you see Jesus raise the dead, don't just see Jesus raise it. See you doing it. Praise the Lord. See you. Do, and if you come through you, if you come through your hands, Jesus supply the needs in the wilderness. Where there is no help, where there is no assistance. What is the supernatural for? Ask yourself. What is the supernatural is for you? Praise the Lord. The supernatural is for you. Miracle is for you. It's for your take. Amen. It's for your take. But what makes it to come to pass? Is the word that you stand on. Is the word that you stand on. Is the word that you stand on that will provoke it. I saw something. Hallelujah. So something very bad. That your imagination is what makes you either good or evil before the Lord. Jeremiah 7 verse 24. Jeremiah 7. Okay, please give me Jeremiah 13 verse 10. 13 10. Jeremiah 13 10 first. Jeremiah 13 10. The Bible says, These people, these evil people, he called them evil people. Which refuse to hear my words. Remember? From the circle of safety. From God, the word. The word, man. Man, action. Action back to God. Praise the Lord. He said, these evil people, which refuse to hear my word, they are evil because they refuse to hear the word of the Lord. He said, which work in the imagination of their heart. They walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them. Shall even be as the gadu, 
which is good for nothing. They shall be as a guard you. What is guard you? Guard you is what they use to guard thy loins, to make their loins firm, to make their loins steadfast. He said they shall be as guard you that is good, that is useless, good for nothing. Why? Because of their evil imagination. The imagination of the heart made them evil before the Lord. What is cooking in your heart? Tell me. Church, all of us, Let's change what is cooking. Let our imagination pick a word and begin to create a picture of it. Create a picture of it. Where we sh- where I show you that Second Corinthians and God is able to make all grace. Amen. I drew God on high. My picture. I drew God on high. I drew me below. And I drew different channel. Different channel. I see God pointing the channel, pointing them towards me. Pointing them towards me. In my diagram, God pointed them towards me. That was what the word said. And God is able to make all oh, grace. If you see, read it from the Amplified Bible. Amplified, do you have Amplified? Studio. Amplified, now that grace, Amplified was able to break it for us. Amen. I said, God is, he said, God is able to make all oh, grace. Every favor and earthly blessings. Every favor and earthly blessings. Amen. If another person is there, amplify. I want to break that word for us. Every favor and earthly blessing to come towards us is not there. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, and God is able to make all grace. Now look at how He break down the grace for our understanding. He said every favor. When I'm talking about grace, I'm talking about every favor and earthly blessing to come to you in abundance. We will stop it there. To come to you in abundance. Let your heart pick up this word. Anything that is making you to feel as if God is not able, God cannot do it. I am alone. God is not with me. See, you have changed. Your imagination has changed. Your imagination has changed. Your imagination will not be greater from the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Right? Now, give me that we are seeing number one. Your imagination will make the people evil before the Lord. Every imagination that is not according to the word of God, the people will be evil before the Lord. Now, let us see a wicked imagination. What does it do? Jeremiah 7, 24. Jeremiah 7, 24. It says, Jeremiah 7 and verse 24. Jeremiah 7, 24. It says, but the aching not, nor incline their ears. He said, but walk in the counsel and the imagination of their evil heart. So because they are walking in the imagination of their evil heart, what happened to them? He said, they went backwards. They went backward and not forward. They went backward and not forward. Every time, people of God, you can even be in the church. Of course, you know those Israelites, those people that went to spy Jericho and the rest of them. They were from the people that God sent the promises. God sent the promises unto them. But the people did not enter because of their wicked imagination. He said, if your imagination is not according to the word, to the word of God, people will not be going backward and not forward. Backward and not forward. This evil imagination, imagination that does not agree, that is not consistent to the world, word of God, I call it a loophole. Please give me the second picture. Look at, I drew another picture from the circle of safety. Look at the second picture. Second picture is showing a break from the circle of safety. You see God... God said this word, not pick the word, the action, but there is something that makes the thing not to go on to God. Those are the wicked imagination, the evil, the thing that is not consistent with the word of God. 
that does not agree with the word of God. Don't think, how can you be thinking customer will not come? I know they will not come now. I know they will not come. And you carry your market, you carry it out to the products. And the Lord has said, whatsoever you do, it shall prosper. And you are not thinking customers will not come. Some of us will be correcting our children and we will say, I know you will do that now. And that is the wrong thing. Your child does something wrong. You are not saying, I know you will do that. No, you are not supposed to say it because that thing is not consistent to your desire. It's not consistent to your prayer. We are so many things. We have heard our parents. We have heard people around us. They say the same thing. So we are also, those languages that are also not in our own mouth, which ought not to be. It ought not to be. And children did wrong. So, oh, yes, I know you will do it. No. You are not supposed to say, I know you will do it. All the time, I will say within myself, I will say it out. All my children shall be taught of the Lord. God is the one teaching you. Amen. All the children shall be taught of the Lord. Blessed shall be the peace of my children. My member of Calvary Experience Ministries International, let me say it to the open now. This is what I pray in the secrets. That you shall be taught of the Lord. More than what pastor will teach, the Holy Ghost himself will teach you. Are you saying amen to that? It's my prayer for you all the time. You may not be there. He said, all my children shall be taught of the Lord and grace shall be, grace shall be the peace of my children. In business, grace shall be their peace. Maritally, grace shall be their peace. Morally, grace shall be their peace. In their faith, grace shall be their peace. In their prayer life, grace shall be the peace of my children. Grace shall be the peace of member of Calvary Express Ministry International. Much more than what a pastor will teach. Let the Holy Spirit as a teacher begin to teach them. Teach them. Teach them. This was what happened to so all other ten spies that they could not inherit the promise. They did not get to the promised land. They died on the way. Every time you make your action to be different, to make your imagination to be different to from the word of God, you will not obtain the promise. You may be coming to church all the time. But if your action does not correspond, if your imagination does not agree with the word of God, Try, but for you, the imagination. We, we thank God we came to church. The imagination of your heart, what to cook in your mind. We agree with the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? See, this teaching today is a journey. This teaching today, it is not yes, I receive a loan. This teaching is a journey. It's a journey. Now you have discovered something. When you discover this one, you now pick a word. Now, I want us to pick one word now. From one of the words that is a shoes, but uh, favor use it to pray this morning. Luke chapter 5. We are rounding up with this one. Luke chapter 5, verses 4 to 6. This is you in Luke chapter 5. Amen. Luke chapter 5, it says, And when he had left speaking, that is Jesus. He said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Why did he do that? When he had left speaking, why? Simon Peter honored him first. He gave him his sheep. You should have honored the Lord. You are in church. Some persons, they honor the Lord. Yesterday they came to clean, so to clean the church. They honored the Lord. Came for, um, Prayer Some people are standing. Serving the Lord in different way. In children's church, standing behind the camera, standing behind the sister, in diverse way, worshiping, serving the Lord. He now said, And Simon answered unto him, Master, we are told all night, whatever, whatever. Nevertheless, at thy word, I let down my net all the time. Tell yourself, I let down my net at the word of God. I let down my business at the word of God. Next, verse 6. Verse 6 says, And when he had done this, he enclosed a great multitude of fishes, a great multitude of fishes. Create this picture concerning your business every day. Create this picture concerning your life every day. Every day. Hey, oh God. Lord, teach them in Jesus' name. 
Mishlika limba kura za ketumbe Engedika yamba akaraza katumbe Angalishkelika yamba kura za ketumbe Jamba kuka kaga arwa za ketumbe Mishkelike linge limba kura za ketumbe Liga jamba kura za ketumbe Liga yamba ba makuga gaga ga The Lord will plant in you The ability to sustain the seed In the mighty name of Jesus Why? This seed shall grow in you as a mighty tree In the mighty name of Jesus Why? And it shall produce for you many fruits In the mighty name of Jesus Why? So see the Lord Hallelujah Every time Tell yourself Lord this is not for Peter This is for me In my business In my career I enclose a great multitude of fishes. They come to me supernaturally. Did you ask, how did they come to Peter now? How did they come? How did they come to him? The man that's a professional fisherman, he has saw all the nights that they caught through, he did not get anything. A man said, and let down your net and catch and begin to catch. The supernatural is for you. The miraculous is for you. Go put in your wall and catch the fish in the mighty name of Jesus. Go put in your wall and catch the blessings in the name of Jesus. I said, go put into your wall and catch the multitude of money in the name of Jesus. Go bring the rest to the kingdom. Go and bring the riches to the kingdom. Go and make more money. Go and live with beauty. Go and live with grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Great. God bless you. Sit. Take your seat. Create that imagination. When it looks as if the thing wants to run away, don't allow it. Don't allow it. When it looks as if you're scared, you want to forget. You want to pray. All the time, tell the Lord, Lord, take me back. I will not forget. I don't want to forget it. I don't want to forget it. For like I have been praying, Father, for a long time now, I've been praying, Lord, let the thoughts of my heart all the time agree with your word. What I am, oh Lord, no. Let the thought of, I will never say, it will never be hard in my mouth that there is no money. God forbid. It should never be hard in my mouth that I am sick. God forbid. I may be sick yesterday, but I am as strong as stone. Hallelujah. Today I am as strong as stone. It is not a law. I enclose a great multitude of things. The supernatural is for me. The supernatural is not just for some persons. No. The supernatural is for me. I may not know the way and manner the blessings will come. I may not know. God is the one doing it. I am working on my faith. God is with me. The one that is with me is more than, is bigger, mightier, stronger than anything that wants to come against me. Praise the Lord. Be conscious. Walk with this imagination all the time. All the time. I am enclosing a great multitude of fishes. Please, go with this scripture. How many scriptures are you going with today? Tell me now. I have showed you 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 or 9 verse 8. I have showed you um, Isaiah, thank you. Isaiah 41 verses 9 to verse 11. Now I am showing you this one now. Luke chapter 5 from verse 4 to verse 6. This is your assignment. Oh. Go into your house. Into your closet. Go and do. By the time you are doing it, it will be beating you from the inside. It will be big, you will be getting stronger and stronger and stronger from the inside to the outside. It will be building you as a spiritual building, as a spiritual house. You will see yourself that your language, your love for God will be different. Things around you will be different. I see things around you becoming different in the mighty name of Jesus. It is so to work with the Lord. Should do I share this testimony with you as I round up? I saw this. As Peter went to the house of Cornelius in uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 45, the Bible says, And while Peter yet paid the word, Acts 10, verse 45, and Acts 10, 44, 44, and while Peter yet paid these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them that ate the word. Why Peter yes paid this word? The Holy Ghost fell upon them. Peter did not tell them to receive the Holy Ghost. Peter did not lay his hands upon them. The Bible says, as Peter was picking the wall, as Peter was picking the wall, the Holy Ghost fell. As we are sitting in that place, that Holy Ghost has been 
convincing your heart. Speak it to you. Speak it to heart. Speak it to her. Why, Victor? Yes, get this one. The only God's fair. Ah, one day, one brother came. The brother said he has been going for Holy Ghost baptism. He mentioned church. Mentioned the name of the big, big, big church. He has not been baptized. This word was fire in my mouth and in my spirit. Amen. And it's the word that I have been believing God. I pray for this word all the time. As I am speaking, Holy Ghost begin to move. Walk in the heart of the people. Walk in the heart of the people. As I was teaching this brother, this word came alive inside of me. The Bible says, And when Peter yes paid the word, the Holy Ghost fell upon them which are the word. And verse 45 now says, They began to speak. They began to speak in tongues. As this brother was just before me, I said, No, you to ends up. Now, as I speak, as I insult you, the Holy Ghost has feed you. The speaking is for you. This brother opened his mouth and began to speak in tongues. He began just started speaking in tongues. From that day, as this word is cooking, even when any time I want to climb the pulpit, any pulpit, I will tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, as I speak. Take the word. You move in the heart of the people. You walk in the heart of the people. If I want to connect word with word, the Bible says, also said, Hallelujah. The old Bible also said, Jesus cast out the evil spirit by his words. As he was teaching the world, the evil spirit was running away. The evil spirit of ignorance, the evil spirit is running away from you. The evil spirit of poverty, running away in the name of Jesus. And they will never return again in the mighty name of Jesus. Do business with the world. Be intentional with the world. Be intentional. The Bible said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not fall. Why would you not be thinking that there will be no Gary in the house? It is an error. It is an error. Stop that thought. Why would you be thinking and you allow the thought to remain inside of you? How will my children eat? Should make a move. Let the one that you are conscious that is with you begin to work things out for you. You thought of the thought, you thought of the thought until you began. I saw someone, someone just started crying one day. Why, 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 why are you crying? Uh, he said, maybe you will die. Uh, uh, death has not come. He said, maybe you will die. He has allowed the thought to be magnified on the inside. Evil thought, evil imagination. And anyone that drew her in that evil imagination, the Bible said they are evil people. They do what? They go backward. They go backward. Evil imagination go backward. Evil imagination, wicked imagination, they break the link. It breaks the link. You see the second diagram? Evil imagination breaks the link. It will not make the action of man to connect with God. The man could not connect. This second one. The man could not connect with God like the first one. Why? There is a breaking bridge. The bridge is broken because of wicked imagination. If wicked imagination, they are planting of the enemy. Never allow it to stay within you. I'll put it. I'll put it. I'll put it. The Lord is on my side. Can we rise up on our feet this morning and begin to talk to the Lord? Lord, I receive grace. That the thought of my heart, the imagination of my heart shall agree with you. Imagination of my heart shall agree with you continually. Are you conscious of the presence of the Lord? Are you conscious of what you are doing in church this morning? Talk to the Lord. Lord, I receive the grace. I receive the grace to walk on this assignment. I receive the grace, oh Lord Jesus, to walk on this wall myself. I receive the grace that in my, the imagination of my heart shall agree with the Lord. The imagination of my heart. I refuse wicked imagination. I refuse evil imagination. I remain in the circle of city. Come on, talk to the Lord. I remain in the circle of city. I remain in the circle of city. I declare that I remain. I abide in the circle of city. I will not get out of city. I will not get out of city. I will not be found outside of city. In the mighty name of Joseph, at this time, in this nation, in the world, where men are cousins, where men are saying, How do we do? How do we do? How do we find money? I remain in the circle of city. I declare that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. I will talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. The Lord, you are my shepherd. I will not lack anything. The Lord, you are my shepherd. I will not want blessing. I will not want money. 
the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. The Lord is Lord is my shepherd, I will not want. Day by day, He supply my need. Day by day, I have more than enough. Day by day, my God is able. I declare it, I confess it, that my God is able every day. In the mighty name of Jesus, my heart agree with the Lord. My heart agree with the Lord. I agree well with the Lord. My shepherd take the trouble again. Shepherd take the burden. My shepherd take the trouble again. What is that word? What is that word that you have been? Begin to express it to the Lord. Express it, speak it to the Lord. Tell the Lord, I can be with the Lord. In the mighty name of Joshua, I can be with the Lord. That said, my God is able to make all grace. God is able. Lord, you are able to make all grace. Please support to us, man. Every day, I have the blessing in my place of war. Every day, I have the blessing in my business place. Every day, I have the blessing from day to day, night to night. Every day, I have the blessing. Every day, I have the blessing. They call to me. They call to me. They locate me. Locate my name. Locate my business. They want to have the blessing. Locate my ministry. Locate me. I take the power with me. I declare that my body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. My body shall not be defined. No sickness will defy my body now. No sickness will defy my body. I declare you by the stripes of Jesus. My body, my heart, my kidney, my love, my intestine, huh? every part of me, my eyes, my bone, every person inside of me. There we go. They are energized. They are energized. They are energized. I have an anti sickness body. By the stripes of Jesus, I am here. Wait and riches be in my heart. Wait and glory accompany me. I will live on God as no harm. I am a worthy lady. I am a worthy lady in assuming health, assuming words. As it is in heaven, so will it manifest for me on earth. It is manifest for me on earth. It's the words you pray. Say, our Father which is in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom of God. Shall we be done on earth as it is in heaven? Shall we be done as it is in heaven? No poverty in heaven. No poverty in heaven. No lack of what in heaven. Everyone is praying with God. Everyone is serving God and walk on God and walk in my mansion. Mansion on earth, I see this ever. I give everyone on earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, in my thoughts, in the imagination of my heart, I leave everyone on earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have a Holy Spirit. Let the spirit of Caleb, let the spirit of Joshua, the spirit that we have been with God. I have another spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, my inheritance not to me. Come on, take your inheritance, my way. Take your inheritance. Let not the man, let not the man, let not the man begin to catch them in the spirit. Catch them in the spirit. Catch them in your prayer. Catch them in your prayer. The multitude of pushing, the multitude of blessing. Catch them in your prayer. Shall we take a job? I catch them. The multitude of blessing, the multitude of pushing. I catch them in my prayer. I catch them. I take them. I take them. The multitude of increase, the multitude of enlargement. I take them. The multitude of favor, the multitude of I take them in my prayer. Let the mind them on your soul. I take them in my prayer. Let my check is done. I take it down. Let the mind them on your soul. My Lord is left of each. My blessings is left of each. My Lord is left of you. My Lord will not be up to ten. Let the mind them on your soul. Thank you, Father. We worship your name. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Ah, I say in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The communion is here to establish us in our safety. In the circle of safety, communion is here to establish us. Our business will be saved. Our lives shall be saved. Our finances will be saved. The work of our hands will be saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, can we all stretch forth our hands to the communion? Stretch forth our hands. To be communal and begin to declare, Lord, as I partake of this communion, I remain in safety. I declare safety for me. I declare safety for my business. I declare I remain in the circle of safety. As I partake of this communion, there is safety for me in the mighty name of Joshua. There is safety for the work of my hand. Safety for my children. Safety for my mind. Safety for my mind. In the mighty name of Joshua. Even in the big imagination of my heart, I declare safety. In the mighty name of Joshua, I declare safety for me. I declare safety for me. In Jesus' name, by faith, Father, we turn this communion to the flesh. 
and to the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare this seems to be waver and current. No, it is so to the flesh and to the blood, to the blood of Jesus Christ. As we partake, we remain in safety. Our business remains in safety. Our finances remain in safety. Our church remains in safety. Our properties remain in safety. Our testimonies remain in safety. Our wheat remain in safety. Remain a pastor. And what story shall do that there is a lifting up in the mighty name of Jesus? Why? When men are saying there is no money, and what story shall be? We have more than enough. Our God is able to make all grace. Make it all grace of God to us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? When people are saying, I'm a sin, our story shall be that the sons of Jesus, my own body is healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Come on and partake of this communion and enter into the act of safety. Jesus, let me pray. Amen.